Chaz and AJ in the morning. Maggie Sliz, Fox Connecticut's in studio. What do we want to know about her? You can call and ask. So what do you do over there? Social media. Yeah. I have a social media report from- That's not uh, like a real job. Well, I try to make it you get, look you like get a real paid, job. You get paid- and get to go on TV yeah. to do what we all do when we're goofing it's off. It's called at, the dream at job. Our real yeah. job, right? <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. living the dream. True. We're, we're I am. Max, we didn't think of it first. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What's this deal with the crazy guy with the foot fetters? Yeah, what's up? How did that happen? Yes. What happened? Okay. So, back, this was actually my first job. I was still in high school. I worked in retail and we sold uh, clothing and shoes. And it wasn't uncommon to get a phone call, you know, for someone like asking about a specific item maybe doing an order through the catalog. Right. So this guy calls one day and I'm on the phone with him and he's like, oh, you know, I'm looking for a shoe for my wife. I'm like, all right, you know, I'd love to help you out. What are you looking for? And he's like, well, you know, I'm not really sure which shoe it is. She kind of described it to me and I was hoping that you could help me narrow it down. So I'm like, all right, sure. So he kind of is like, you know, I think it's like leather. It could be brown or black. Boy, yeah, this narrows it down to yeah. like 5,000. Could be anything. Was he breathing hard? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, well, we have uh, this model and this style. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's that. And he's like, all right, well, uh, what size shoe are you? And I'm like, um, like a six and a half. And he's like, okay, you know, I, she's your size, actually. So that works out well because I want to make sure that the shoe fits well because she's got really narrow feet. And he's like, would you mind, uh, you know, trying the shoe on for me and letting me know what the fit is like? And I'm like, hmm, that's well, weird. Your voice is changing. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> right. I mean, I, I guess I could so do that. Now it seems a little weird. Before right. it seemed yeah. like, yeah. okay, this could be just the guy who doesn't Again, know any better. I get calls like that all the time. Right. Look up this item. Now this seems a little weird, but now whatever. Now it's getting personal. Right. right. But, you know, customer service, fine. Yeah. I'll do it. So I got the shoe and I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll put it on. And assuming this is even the right type of shoe. And then he asks me if I recently had a pedicure. Have you had a pedicure? Ah. And, uh, and uh, okay. I'm like, um. That's when you hear. <laughs> Could you uh, wiggle your toes for me? Creepy. <laughs> yeah. But, you know. Being, Every little uh, hair goes up then. It's like, okay, right. I got a creepy dude on the phone. Is, right. it, a, is it a French pedicure? <laughs> <laughs> Did well, you that was, what color are your nails? <laughs> so you got my call. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was you. I <laughs> heard your voice and nice all these you. memories, hey. repressed memories came back. Why does this voice sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> you finally heard meet. that before. So how did you end the call? Yeah. Well, I think I, I got to the point where he asked me, you know, what color my toenails were painted. And then he said something like, oh, that sounds really nice. And I really like small feet. And at that point, I realized. You just know. Yeah. It's a creeper. Exactly. Yeah. And I think I said to him, I was like, sir, you know, I think that's a bit inappropriate. And as soon as I called him out on it, he slammed the phone. Yeah, done. I'm not sure if he got what he was looking for, but.